Ladies, it's time for August. It's time for me to share with you if you are interested in what I intend to wear in August. You may have noticed I've decided to let the sun shine in. Look, this necklace, I have to say, a number of you have commented on it. This necklace, I will say, tell you, it is about 25 years old. And I thought I'd get out of the way before you ask, where'd you get your necklace? I'm sorry, it is about 25 years old, 20 years old, something like that. Equally, letting the sun shine in, I am wearing a Viramoda top. You may well know, if you've followed me for a while, that I bought this top in um, navy and I bought it in black. Um, I have listed it in my store in Amazon. So if you open up Show More, go to my Amazon store, go to clothing, and you'll find a, a whole variety of these Vera Moda colour tops. Black and navy, we have been loving. You have been loving. You've been snapping them up, and I've been wearing mine like mad. As I said, I did buy this yellow one as well. And I thought, you know, you might want to see a bit of a variety. Let the sun shine in. Let us get on and see what my August capsule consists of and will I be letting the sunshine in to my clothing in August or will it all be neutrals? What do you think? Have a guess. Before you watch, go now and comment below and tell me, will my capsule be vibrant or will it be bland? Then, then carry on watching. I'll give you, give you a couple of seconds. Go on, go on, go on. Right down there. Just write vibrant or bland. Right, let's go on with it. Well, the answer is I have tried to do a combination of both because you can't just have vibrant, you can't just have colourful and have some neutrals to work, to work with it. Um, but again, I don't want just neutrals. You know me, you know me. It can't just be neutrals. It has to be some colour too. So there you go, that's the answer. It's a bit of both. I'll just whiz through items that I had left over from my July's capsule. We have a skirt, I love this skirt. Uh, did not get a, wear, a chance to wear it in July, but love it from Zara last year. Lisa Lisa also got the same skirt actually. And a white jeans because they are a very good basic. So though they were in July, they are going to be in August as well because you can't have a capsule without white jeans in the summer. Equally, I have got no denim jeans. I've got this skirt I'm carrying forward because I want to carry on wearing it because I just love it. And I did wear it in July, but want to wear it in August as well and some navy trousers that are lightweight that I didn't get a chance to wear. Maxi dress I didn't get a chance to wear. And then some bright, bright t-shirts. Stripes, yellow, blouse. And we have got a grey one with a logo on it that's from H&M this year by the sun. Funnily enough, two things I didn't wear in July, but my daughter did these. She stayed over, she had an argument with her boyfriend, stayed over one night said, what, have you got some clothes I can borrow the next day? Because it was quite unexpected. She wasn't expecting to stay the night. And um, so I grabbed these two for her. So she, she wore this in July. I didn't. So anyway, they're going back into my August capsule for me to wear. A little by the, little by the way story. There you go. Chinos. I've got fairly neutral chinos here. I've got beige. I've got the striped ones from Marks and Spencers that a few of us are liking and buying up and I'll link them down below for you. And also some lightweight cargo khaki olive trousers as well. And I believe quite a few of you are buying these as well, especially in America. I have linked something quite similar and I think a fair, a fair few of you are buying those. So I'll, link, I'll carry on linking them down below for you. Moving on, what I am introducing in in August is... What am I introducing in? <gasps> Ha ha! These, which came in a Lucky Euro box recently. Summer, lightweight, very loose trousers. Where am I going to wear these? I will wear them around the house. I would wear them to a pub garden in an afternoon. I would wear them on a picnic. I would wear them to the beach. I would wear them on a dog walk on the beach. That's the type of place I'd wear these. What will I wear them with? Black t-shirt, a white t-shirt. Yeah, that, that's how I'd wear those, yes. Black or white to downplay all of this vibrancy here. But yeah, this is not, this is cafe wear, beach wear, beach cafe wear, dog walking wear, barbecue, picnic. This is not a uh, restaurant type clothing for me. Love them though. Love them. Pulling out an animal print in green and black skirt. Very lightweight. I also got this in Lucky Arrow. I believe it was Lucky. No, no, I lie. 
This is a Stitch Fix own brand. I got it on Stitch Fix. This is Editor's, Editor's Cut Skirt, midi with pockets as well. And um, lightweight for the summer. I haven't worn it yet so far because it's not been in a capsule, but August, yes, I'm gonna wear this in August, I hope. I will wear this with a black t-shirt and I would wear this to a restaurant. Um, evening wear, lunch in a restaurant, bar, that type of occasion, meal at a friend's house, meal at my house with friends. This is how I would wear this midi, midi skirt. Evening as a neutral base, I've got some lightweight, very wide leg lots, you'd say, black culottes. But actually, I've also got black uh, slip, that's it, a slip, long slip skirt and also long slip culottes too. So I've got three black evening type items here. Those would be restaurant, lunchtime or evening. I would wear them with maybe this, which is from Loft in the States a couple of years ago. Flutter sleeves, they're still uh, popular, these flutter sleeves, striped in a subtle ivory and red stripe. Wear that with them, like that as an evening outfit. This ivory top with them is an evening outfit. Quite understated coloured top here that I could wear with those as an evening outfit. So basically, yeah, there's three, three tops here, blue, that loft striped one and a plain ivory from Tommy Jeans. These three blouses would be restauranty, friend's house, smart, smart casual wear. I've also got for warm days, I've got some gray culottes, quite thin. And this is a skirt. Some of you may have this. This was Marks and Spencer's a few years ago. Gingham skirt and gingham's gingham pattern is very popular at the moment, isn't it? So very thin summer gingham skirt and grey culottes. These two would go with the skirt. That blue would go with the black, just about. That ivory would. That's quite an understated look, isn't it? Then we've got the culottes. They can even be worn with, obviously, those two. But they could also be worn with a patterned top. But they're more casual. They are more a casual material. Black. Oh look, I've got a, a rainbow, a rainbow t-shirt in white. That would go with the culottes quite well. That'd actually go with that too. I've got a linen top here that would go with this. An outfit I wore quite a bit last summer was actually these culottes and this t-shirt. I thought they went really well together. So no doubt in August I will replicate this because it, I know it works. I, I wore this combination four or five times last July, August. So uh, yeah, there's that too. T-shirts, I do have a variety of t-shirts. A blue and white striped t-shirt, ivory and white striped t-shirt. A black t-shirt, white t-shirt, a another white t-shirt, and the one you saw just now. If I can get that here, yes, the one with the rainbow one. So a variety of neutral, t-shirts to wear with the, maybe the colourful bottoms that I don't have down this end. I've also uh, got some colourful t-shirts here at this end. This is a broad array anglais blouse from Marks and Spencer's, I think this is about four or five years old, but I just love it. Slightly ivory, slightly, um, comes down just above the elbow, sleeve wise, very pretty but it's a, a neutral color being ivory, so it will actually go with the brights, the other end of the, you know, the bright bottoms, but it will also go with the neutral bottoms as well. I actually very much like, for instance, this blouse with these culottes, gray and ivory, I think are lovely, and that's slightly gray, that's ivory. I think that's lovely together. Really like those together. So that's that. I think a very, very, very useful item to have in a August capsule of clothes or wardrobe of clothes is a ivory light knit jumper. So I did have this in July. I did wear it in July, but I'm carrying it forward to August because it's not the sort of thing I'd wear in the winter, but it's very, very useful for the summer. Instead of the long sleeve shirts, striped shirts that I've been wearing quite a lot in June, July and May, I have a short sleeved one here. Now this is Cabby clothing. Many of you probably know Cabby, especially my US followers, Cabby, which is um, 
is that as in you know it's a party plan outlet for clothing and so in the states there's quite a lot of people who do cabbie clothing from home and take it to people's houses and so on but there is a bit of that in the uk as well so i bought this from my local distributor but it is um it's a, it's from a collection several a couple of years ago i believe i bought it this year i bought it from her as part it was part of her stock you know she had it left over so a short sleeved striped ivory and blue blouse dress this is next and uh, the similar in Marks and Spencers. I will link them down for you, but I have noticed similar in Marks and Spencers, but I bought this, oh, four years ago from next. And um, it's just a V-neck linen, black linen dress. And Marks have them in, in a variety of colors, but it's, uh, it's perfect for, for, if you want to be slightly smart, for uh, August, you know, for work or, or some such. No, a linen, a linen, black linen dress is quite useful. So I, I've actually pulled that out too. Now the dress is the shirt dress in olive. In case of chilly afternoons or chilly evenings, I have got a couple of cardigans or jackets. I have got this very long summer coloured cardigan from Halogen, Nordstrom's own brand. And this jacket, that is new from Lucchiero. It's sort of a peachy coloured denim jacket. Now I want to show you something that I have bought. You're either gonna love this or hate it. I think that many of you are gonna love this because you're, to, to watch me in my clothes and my style, you must, you're probably similar dresses to myself and similar personalities to me. A classic, a classic would not, I don't think, like what I'm about to show you, but then I don't think a classic dresser would necessarily be watching me anyway. So let's work on the basis that you, are, you like me, are not a classic. What do you think? What do you think? Love it or hate it? Honestly, it talked to me. It did. It talk, I got it in a sale from Sugar Hill Brighton, but it just, it just, it just spoke spoke to me and resonated with me. I, um, you know, I I love it, and and only just bought it recently, so it's only come in the post a couple of days ago. I really want to make make this work and wait, find ways to wear this. But yeah, sorry, I know I know um, that a classic dresser would absolutely hate that. But look, it's you no know, zebras. It's got giraffes on it, and. Uh, I adore it. It's, it's just, you know, like a picture. I adore it. Adore it. And I apologise. I am sorry for that. I am sorry that I'm a 50-year-old, nearly 60-year-old woman who adores this. But I do. So, shall we do the close eyes and just see how badly this works, considering there's so much in the way of patterns and brights here. Let's do the close eyes test and just see how badly this capsule is going to work. So we've got tops and we've got bases, this end. I'm in the middle here, tops, bottoms. I see, I'm going to close my eyes and I am just going and I am going to pick items and we'll see how this goes. Right. Oh, that's easy. That works. No doubt about that. That works. That Red and white ivory top and those black bases. Perfect. Another go. Oh. That and navy trousers. No, black trousers. Black loose trousers and that. This is working better than I thought. We're going to do this five times. That's two goes so far. Let's go again. Bright yellow t-shirt and these three trousers and it would it would go with the olive it will go with the chinos the beige chinos not show sure. i think i'd have to be brave to wear the blue and white striped chinos with this not because of the color but because this is flowers and that stripes but then flowers and stripes are are a pattern combination I would have to see this on to see whether we'll know that would work. Definitely it'll go with the olive and definitely it'll go with those chinos. 
So, despite me thinking this wasn't going to work, so that's three, three attempts have worked, which is 100% so far. Right, close my eyes again. My first fail, I don't think this is right. That's a dark grey with that. I think it, it's... No one's going to look at that and say that's a nice outfit. No one's going to say it's going to, it clashes or looks horrible, but no one's going to say, oh, you look nice wearing that. So I don't think that works. So that's a fail. I think that's a fail. Well, that's a success, definitely, because I'd already pulled those out as an example. That's a success. That works. Because this is working so much better than I thought it would do, I am really pleased with this capsule wardrobe, but I'm going to carry on. So close my eyes and have another go. Let's do this thing. Uh oh. <laughs> That would be a pyjama set for me. <laughs> fail. Even for me. That, for, br you know, bright colours and things. Fail. Shall we have another go? Close my eyes. Rainbow t-shirt. That is a skirt with flowers on left over from July's capsule. That would, that would look good. And white jeans as well. So we've got white jeans and that would look good as well. So yes, 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 yes. I declare the capsule works. So, I'll see you all in one of the outfits. <laughs>